Welcome, Welcome to the celebrated, celebrated nightly news, news of Calaveras, Calaveras County. County. My name's John. And I'm Kim. Back. It's not Sarah. It's, it's <laughs> Kim. <another> night. <laughs> and we want to thank you for joining us. And tonight, mm -hmm. if you hadn't joined us last night, um, Sarah is in London. Mm -hmm. And we've been expecting video updates from her trip over there. I guess she's been having a little bit of trouble with email. We've been trying yes. to do some clips getting, getting the clips of getting the clips to us. But Sarah um, is, is off in jolly old... England. Lucky gal. Right? Yeah. And we're here in the rain and snow and <laughs> dark Slash, of I night. Guess, yeah. yeah, I mean, all that kind of stuff. Um, thank you for dropping by again tonight. Okay. Tonight we actually have news. Yeah, we do. We have some, we have some exciting news. Like exciting real news. news. Real news, yes. yeah. Real news to talk See, about. See, one of the things we have to work with Kim on this is <laughs> when she's off camera, you never have any doubt about being able to hear her voice. She always lets me know exactly where I stand, right? Right. But we're going to have to work with her on camera <laughs> keeping that uh, <clears throat> keeping that voice up, right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay, the, the top of the news is, is Angel's Camp has a new police chief. And to chair, uh, Jeff, to chair, uh, I'm bangling my words today. Um, Angels Camp Chief to chair passed the torch to Dale Mendenhall. Dale Mendenhall is the new police chief of Angels Camp. He will take uh, over the position on January 7th. Yes. He's 49 years old. He spent 28 years in uh, police work and he is coming from Delano. Delano, California. And Bethany Monk was there at the meeting tonight and she wrote a nice little piece on it. And he says he loved the he loves the as you know the rural aspects of Calaveras. Mm -hmm. uh, moving here with his family now in Delano to move here um, to Angels Camp. Mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> And a quote from outgoing chief Tachera, we look for a person with the right background, personality traits, said Angels Camp Current Chief Tony Tachera, and who is retiring. Tachera said it was important to find the right person for the job, that it was worth taking the time to do so. After months of searching for the right candidate for the position, the field was narrowed to Mindenhall several weeks ago. The last few weeks have been filled with, you know, all the different all vetting processes and all that kind and of stuff. That, yeah. um, <clears throat> he fit the criteria. For 28 years, Mendenhall worked for the Delano Police Department where he served in a variety of capacities, including uh, patrolman and detective. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> Tachera, who has worked in law enforcement for 36 years, the past six in Angels Camp, said he's looking forward to his new role as a private citizen. Yes. All right. Um, and we, we have had emails wondering when, when, when the party, when is, the party huh? is for Tony. Yeah. I'm sure we'll find <laughs> out, but I mean, congratulations, congratulations to both Congratulations to both, yes. uh, They'll be able to, one... Existing to be able to move on into retirement mm -hmm. and also for Dale for um, Stem, coming here to Calaveras County. I think he'll, and he'll welcome to Angels Camp. Yes, welcome. We hope he has a hopping <laughs> good time. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. Um, <clears throat> and as you will notice on your screen down here below us, you'll see a, another one of our sponsors. And we want to thank Mark Twain St. Joseph's Hospital thank you. for sponsoring the PineTree.net and also the Nightly News so that we can bring it to you on, here on the website and also on cable. I want to thank them very much. Um, also, Board of Supervisors this morning, they did have a closed session where they discussed the new CAO, mm -hmm. but it was... Um, <clears throat> it hasn't been disclosed yet. They're going to announce it next week, correct? Correct, yes. yes. Um, and also, so probably the next few days, you know, we should, I did talk to Marita Calloway on that mm -hmm. earlier, and I took a picture of Marita earlier today that didn't turn out so you have to look Marie, Marie now, has a new hairdo. Marie has a new hairdo so you'll see she looks very nice so she's going she's gone from blonde to brunette yes. and I don't know which, which I've done a couple times yeah and I don't know whether that's to portray a more serious side I don't know but it looked very nice Marita and um, We'll probably she'll probably <laughs> and you you, you, you will see more of this hairdo in our in the, in the upcoming board of soups video yeah okay. so uh, yeah, she, for, tomorrow for, for <laughs> mentioning her hair but uh, <laughs> anyway um, in the board of soups this morning we met with um, Sheriff Downham I want to thank uh, Sheriff Downham for meeting with us for a few minutes before the board of supervisors meeting took over and we got a little more background on last week's meeting at the state. Um, he was very gratified that they upped the limit to the $30 million that they need. 
they're on process. They need to have, uh, they can pull the application. I guess the first part of uh, January needs to be in in March. Mm -hmm. um, they have to have good, and I asked him a little bit about the proposal that needs to be done. He says they don't need um, artist, you know, they don't need artist renderings or detailed plans, that, but they do need square footage. The numbers have to be accurate. Uh, with maybe some of the conceptual things, but they actually feel very good. And once they get it submitted in March, they should know um, by May. Okay. And he seemed fairly confident. A couple things that I guess the, the elected officials have really been helping. Uh, Machado from San Joaquin County, uh, Barry Hill, and also Senator Cox have been working behind the scenes to make sure that this gets done. And you can kind of see some of that in the fact that Calaveras County needed the thirty million, and the numbers came in at thirty million. So okay, you can I tell somebody just, was just, just a tad yeah. under, I believe. Yeah. So they could manipulate that a little bit. And the other thing is that he didn't get a chance to see it, but rumor was that there was a letter from Arnold Schwarzenegger, from Governor Schwarzenegger, that was circulating that basically said. Calaveras County needs Needs the need jail. jail. So I think that has he, has, uh, oh, I wonder if he's been here to tour our jail. I don't know if he's done a jail oh. tour or not. But anyway. Um, you never know. Yeah. <laughs> um, but anyway, that was good news on that. And also, I think we have a small clip of that. And let's see. Is there a piece that you want to cover on? Maybe sure, some, we can talk go, about I'm going to find my um, Sheriff Downham sure. clip. Um, Calaveras County Santa's Express is seeking vol volunteers for, actually, it's tomorrow's special shopping day. Um, Santa's Express, a component of the Calaveras County Human Resources Council, is looking for volunteers to help with its annual shopping day, Wednesday, December 19th, at the Town Hall in San Andreas. Volunteers are needed to work any shift for any amount of time between 8.30 and 3. And that's, that's not much notice, but that, it, but that is tomorrow. So if you are available tomorrow, they would love to have your help. Um, several county organizations and the Marine... Toys for Tots group of Stockton have donated about 1,000 items of toys, stuffed animals, etc. for the um, Santa's Express. So that's very nice. Very nice. That's a so, lot of thousands. Yes, it items. is. That's... And we have a picture of the current volunteers um, up on the front page of our of our website that you can take a peek at, and also the, the further article on this that Bethany did for us this morning. Yeah, I think um, we have that clip. What do you want to hear? Want to see, sure, go ahead. Kim got on me because it says I'm not letting her talk, so I need to make sure that she's finished with her before I jump over and jump in again. Go right? ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> anyway, this is uh, just a couple little clips of see, Sheriff, I have not seen this yet. Sheriff Dan this morning. This is from this morning's Board of Supervisors. And he's very soft-spoken in a lot of ways. You can tell even though he's very soft-spoken, you know he does carry the big stick. He does, he does. <laughs> Yeah, this will all be in the uh, public comments, and we, and I guess it, and he basically is reiterating what we had, what we had talked about that um, on the major J issues. And Marita Calloway had some questions on clarifications on uh, some of the mental health issues and different things like that, and how it affects it. Um, but so we'll have that and also the entire Board of Soups meeting up tomorrow evening if you mm -hmm. want to watch. And uh, this morning was, was actually fairly peaceful. There wasn't mm -hmm. the uh, parade at uh, public comments. There I think wasn't. everybody's going to the Christmas, everybody's kind of in the Christmas spirit, right? <laughs> I want to go to the Board of Soups You don't want to uh, get up and bash the supervisors or the county government at <laughs> Christmas time, right? Anyway. Uh, and also, while we're playing little clips, we have one little brief clip, and this is the one that Bethany took this morning, I mean this evening, and this is actually from the um, city council meeting this evening, where there is the, um, where there is the new chief. At the podium. At the city podium, chief. and this is where the, at the city council meeting, and outgoing chief right over there, Tony's right there. 
and this is on the uh, new design, you know, on the designation and the announcement this morning. This or evening. This, evening. this evening, sorry. It's been a long day, hasn't it? <laughs> well, they're just an, an eventful one. Yes, and there were several several accidents today. It was several there motor were vehicle accidents again today due to the slippery roads out there. I haven't seen any with serious or major injuries that came across today. Have you? No. Luckily, it looked like minor minor injuries, minor a couple, couple spin outs, um, but nothing nothing serious. Thank goodness for that. Um, what else? Also. We we have we, we have some we have schmucks. sports. Oh we have yes, um, you want to talk our about our friends, new schmucks? the Eddies. Now, as you may have um, may have noticed, there has been on the site what we jokingly called our schmuck report, right? And we've had a little bit of grief for um, our report, and some people thought that Kim was picking on me, or some of the other things like that. And some of that may have been true, but also. <clears throat> Now, today we got some pictures of some people who wanted to volunteer to be schmucks. The schmucks right? and Murphy's, yes. <clears throat> now, here you go. This may be hard to see on cable, but it's worth going to our site, <laughs> thepinetree.net. They are just a kick, this couple, I now, tell you. <clears throat> Dean and Arlene are volunteering to be schmucks. So there they are dressed <laughs> for any occasion, and they said they were ready to go out in rain, snow, any type of inclement <laughs> weather. To be on the location, <laughs> right? They are so funny. And so anyway. We actually have a whole slideshow that I'm going to need to get up, the pictures that they have sent us. They are just, I mean, I'm not kidding. You probably, we probably get a couple a day from them. Oh, they, it's, it's wonderful. They are, they're they just do wonderful, some really great, people. and just want to say thank you yes, very much for you. all the stuff that they've done. It's you really humorous. You give us humor every day. <laughs> and we're going to put up, um, and yeah, and we'll put up a... Uh, a nice they, little slideshow they, they, of what they, they've they do done. take a lot of time to send those to us. Yes, they do. To prepare those. Oh, a lot of time. <laughs> yes, lots and lots of time. <laughs> There's so much stuff that we haven't shown you on that. It's just they, they do a they do a lot of stuff that's a really a lot of fun. Um, <clears throat> and also, we haven't had a chance to get this up on the site yet, but we ha there we even have a sports, sports. scores. <laughs> yes, we do. Right? Yes, the first now, basketball game for Avery Middle School. Mark Twain, correct? Seventh and eighth graders tonight. Have Seventh their, and eighth have graders their first played game at Avery, mm -hmm. and the um, and Avery and Mark Twain, and we'll show some pictures here as well. But we'll go through the scores, scores. real quick. Now, in the first um, and in the uh, second game for the Hawks, and the first for the Bad, it was the second game for the Hawks and the first for the Badgers. The eighth grade boys from Mark Twain were victorious. Um, they came out 47 to 33 over Avery. And the seventh grade boys, Avery came out on top. So they split it. Yes, they did. So congratulations to both teams on coming away with a win on there. And we have we had some about 10 pictures. pictures. Yeah. So yeah. let's see here. And we'll just save those. Do, do, do. We need to put those up for tomorrow. Yeah, the and those will be up on the website tomorrow if you want to see the pictures there. And let's see on our. So you know you have a cluttered desk desktop. My desktop of my computer right now has two thousand <laughs> three has twenty three hundred and fifty pictures. Yeah. And that's only been of the last few months. So <laughs> I bet it's time to do some uh, time to do some maintenance. Uh, anyway, here we go. <clears throat> And these are shots of today, this afternoon's game, right? Yes, it's actually, I think it's at 4 o'clock this yeah. afternoon. So here they are. There's the There's mascot. The mascot. <laughs> <laughs> team There's the There's the Mark Twain team. <laughs> Cute. The Avery Gym and the scores there. On the court, somebody shooting a free throw. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, basketball is there, and want to say after the first year, after the holiday break, we will be start uh, broadcasting Bret Hart basketball mm -hmm. again. We'll try to get some, both some boys and girls games again this year. Um, I guess for two thousand eight, right? Yes, 2008. 2008. So anyway. A couple weeks, um, couple weeks away. Actually, exactly. <clears throat> yeah. 
Now, how long is this winter storm going to be continuing? I know was the there Bear a Valley. Storm? Well, Bear Valley received seven to eight inches just last night. Was was there a storm there today? There was a storm. So for it all was, those for all was, those powder freaks, time to head on up the hill. It was raining get today. Get some new powder. <laughs> it was a mess today. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't get it. We didn't get any snow up in here in Ar Arnold though today, did we? No, we didn't get all. No. Um, we were down the hill most of the day, but we didn't get any up here. So I think, I don't know how much more is expected. Do you? I haven't even checked since we just got home. Yeah. Shortly ago, time ago. <laughs> do you want to do weather now and then come back to it later? Do you want to do? It doesn't matter. Whatever you'd like to do. Huh? I don't care. Well, since, you know, we've been doing No, I was just talking about that. I was, I was wondering how much more of the storm is on its way. Oh, okay. See, Kim's in charge now. No, I'm not. Yes. I don't want Kim's, to be in charge. No, only, only, charge. only at home, not on, <laughs> not on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Now, also, um, most, if you looked at the agenda on the uh, Board of Supervisors stuff, all the consent agenda items passed. So they did get the new boat passed. Oh, they on did getting get the, the new boat well, for the sheriff. Yeah, I mean, that's uh -huh. kind of a, a no-brainer, mm -hmm. I guess, uh, one of those things Good. there. So um, during the meetings, uh, here we go. Both consent agenda items passed with a 5-0 vote. First, a resolution to vacate public utility easement in Connor Estates. And the second was the go-ahead to purchase a new patrol boat for the Calaveras County Sheriff's Marine Safety Unit mm -hmm. with funds given by the California Department of Boating and Waterways along with a budget transfer in the amount of $80,000. During the meeting's public comment session, Kathy Borland, Calaveras County Human Resources Executive Director, announced that the HRC is a grand opening will take place at 1.30. Well, they're actually groundbreaking. Yeah, because they're on they the new have, HRC. They're going to have a new location now. Now, where's yeah. that going to be? It is going to be on Pool Station Road okay. and George Reed Road in okay. San Andreas. Yeah, they have. They, they have, they're going to be getting some new digs, right? New digs. New digs. Yes, new, new digs. digs. So they're starting to dig on their new, new digs. digs. Their new digs. Yes. The new location will allot five thousand square feet to the HRC's food bank, which will let the food bank staff help more families. Borland said. That's going to be very nice. Very nice. She also announced. Oh, sorry. <laughs> No, that's not work. <laughs> Did you ahead. want to comment no, more on no, that? No, no, you no, didn't? no. Oh, okay. <laughs> she also announced that the Santa's Express, a kind of component of the HRC, will be seeking volunteers from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Wednesday, which about. we already we've talked, already about. talked yeah, about. Yeah, so she should have interrupted. All right, all right. And um, tomorrow at the San Andreas Library, they are having a holiday hoopla <laughs> from 3 to 4 o'clock. And what pray stories. Tell is the I guess it's for kids. Sounds like it's for children. Stories, songs, and seasonal crafts. So that's tomorrow at the San Andreas Library from 3 to 4 p.m. If you have any questions on that, please call 754 6706. Sounds like some fun for so, those young Kim, are, are you our hat model? I am our hat model. This is another one of our pine tree <laughs> dinette hats. Now, this is one of the by, baseball style, yes, right? This is one of the baseball style caps that we. That we um, Carry and also sports, made right here locally here in Murphy's, right? Bandera. Bandera and Murphy's, yes. This is one of our newest ones with the notice the green and oh, the white. Oh, the green the bill, yes, yes, the two color the, green bill. The hat wearing mama. <laughs> yes. And next year we pro next tomorrow night we promise you won't be wearing yes. a hat. Yes, I, I, I do. I do have hair under. Yeah, because <laughs> otherwise there people like, you know will think she's, she's, she's going bald. Or, you know. um, but no, she does have. Right? Yes, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hair. All right. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be in trouble later. Wait, so what else is going on here? All right. And it is um, one of the new things we were talking about on a little bit of a Bear Valley. You're getting a lot of snow. Is They're getting a new webcam. Mm -hmm. And this is right. one where you can actually move it around the hill. You can actually position it and watch stuff and move things like that. It's very nice. So, so is that going to be up on their website? People can view that? It is or? now. Okay, it is now. I don't think now. they haven't announced it because maybe they don't want everybody to just... Pound it, but you know, I think I saw that today. I know I noticed that that new link this morning. When yeah, was up there on you can their move site. it around. It it is video now, cool. so you can move it around. Very cool. And it has a timing mechanism, so you can actually control the camera with your mouse. But you oh, have so you to. you can see the whole hill. So can you? How, how many runs can you see? When you can move it around. So here, let's to let's what, go what, there the front now. Side? You can't like let's go, back go there now. Polar Express and all that. No. No, you can't see the back side. But I, I think they are going to have it so it rotates through. Now here's an interesting thing here. We'll see if I can crash my computer. It's heavy in Java, so it'll do one of those big time. All right, what do we got here? Let's see. 
there it is. So you can see right there, this is kind of a neat thing. So on the new camera, you can actually manipulate it and move it so you get a great view of an icicle right now because it's completely dark out there. But um, you can actually position, move it, and it's this little button where it says start control. You can actually control the cam. That's cool. So then you can, you know, do all kinds of I'm, fun stuff. I'm just stuff curious as to what, what areas around. it's going to cover of the mountain. Not you the can whole see, mountain. You can position to see most of the front of the hill. At the front of the hill. So, okay, okay. If you have little, if you have the, little, the, ba little the, ba ones, the baby runs, the beginner runs, the kith or kin up there that kith, you want to see, kith ski that like this, like me, <laughs> on, the, on those runs, the pizza slice, the pizza slice. Oh, yeah. the pizza slice. All right. <laughs> now, are you going to be skiing this weekend? I don't know. Maybe I have to get you, my you courage know, up. It's been a long your... time. Yes, it's been a long time. Now, if you haven't skied in a while, one last, one little thing we'll say on this is kind of funny is. I hadn't skied until last year. It had been 25, been over 25 years since I had skied last. Yeah, well, it's probably been about 15 years for me. And I was really nervous. Yeah. And but that's, they, why, that's why I haven't done it yet. I'm scared. But they've I'm made so many <laughs> improvements in the equipment and everything else that it's not that I skied very well before, but I actually skied better now than I had when I was young. I guess I guess the, with the new skis, it is a lot easier to maneuver. Oh, yeah. I, mean, it's I, just, I, I just have to get up the courage to go and do it again. I promised our son, who is 10 and a half, who is actually joining the race team this weekend. He's going from Devo we'll to the race team. Yeah, we'll see. He's, he's chosen to do that. So we are, we are so proud of him. And <clears throat> I promised him that this year I will ski with him. So I, I've got to do it. It's, instead of sitting in the lounge, drinking my, lounge my coffee with uh, yeah. my laptop lounge on the weekends. Mama. I've yeah. got, got to get out on those slopes. <laughs> well, we better get the weather. Here we go. We better get the weather because we'll spend a little bit of time on it. And right now, and we'll open this up here. So it looks like we're still going. Um, the little bit of changes from last night. They are showing Friday now is mostly sunny. Let's pull up the radar. Are you yawning? Like I'm sorry. Or no. When he reads out loud, he yawns. When he's reading a book to our kids, he'll start to yawn. It's like, I don't know, he's got Tourette's or something or what. But <laughs> I have yawnettes. Yawnettes, yeah, that's right. right. Yawnettes. Isn't that the... When he reads out loud, it causes him to yawn. So Now you'll notice <laughs> on our weather here, this is the first time all day that this thing hasn't been bright green. You'll notice just a few little... Little spots of precipitation. We have some little tiny pockets there around, but for the most part, our storm activity has slowed. And you can see there's nothing on out in here right now. So it looks like, um, looks like for right now, well, the heavy stuff showers. is over. Showers light, yeah. Snow again on um, Thursday. It looks like there's more snow coming, at least to, at least here to Arnold on Thursday. So yeah. But, Bear Valley, rain and snow, rain and snow. Well, know. I mean, just for instantly, for this wave, isn't mm -hmm. it? When's the next wave coming through? Well, it looks like it's still... Oh, it's still there? Well, let me see. Tonight is a 60% chance. Tomorrow, 50% chance. Wednesday, 80% chance. It looks like the big wave is coming in again on Thursday. All right, here's the satellite imaging. Uh, let's see. I'm not a very good weatherman yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we need to hire. We need to hire a weather girl. What do you think? Oh, the weather girl. Yeah. Yeah, could be our next. You don't want to be the. No. You don't want to do the weather girl no, thing. No, 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 no. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Okay. Let's just do normal, normal weather stuff, and also want to touch a little bit on road conditions right now. Uh, road conditions right now. Chain controls are starting four and a half miles east of Arnold at Camp Connell at the current time mm -hmm. so those will probably may change a little bit overnight but uh, mm -hmm. if you're heading on up I you're going to have to chain up just above much, our though, do you think tonight? Doesn't, no, you know, it doesn't seem like, like it, it. No. and let's see you want me to do Arnold or are you going to sure go for it okay for Arnold tonight 60% chance of showers low of 32 degrees Wednesday, 50% chance of rain, high of 42. Wednesday night, 80% chance of rain, low of 32. That's cold. It might snow. That would Maybe. make it some snow Wednesday. Thursday morning, 80% chance of rain and snow, high of 38 on Thursday here in Arnold. Um, Thursday night, 40% chance of rain and snow, low of 23 on <laughs> Thursday night. It's going to be cold. Friday, mostly sunny, high of 41. Friday night, partly cloudy, low of 31. 
And that's for Arnold Weather. All right, up in Bear Valley, temps have actually crawled up a few mm -hmm. degrees over the, um, the forecast from yesterday to today. Uh, we were all white up in Bear Valley uh, up until today. Now that look, it's still 80% chance overnight, uh, but there may be some rain and snow, low of 24, high of 36. So they do should probably mostly snow up there, but they do showing a little bit of possibility of rain as well. Uh, we have 24, 36, 22, 31, and Thursday night. 12 degrees Woo! in Thursday night up there in Bear Valley. Like East Coast weather. Yeah, that's <laughs> almost a bit, bit chilly. <laughs> yes. Bit chilly. And for Murphy, <clears throat> um, tomorrow, 40% chance of showers, low of 34. Let's see if we can bring this up a little bit. Sorry, I'm not used to this. For Wednesday afternoon, 40% chance of rain, high of 52 degrees. Wednesday night, 70% chance of rain, low of 37 degrees. Thursday, 50% chance of rain, high of 47. Thursday night, 30% chance of showers, low of 27. That's even cold for Murphy's. Yep. Friday, mostly sunny, high of 50. Friday night, partly cloudy, low of 31. And this cold weather has had an effect even down in Angel's Camp. And we were talking to um, Bob Middleton last week, and, and he's, in addition to running Middleton's, they own the shopping center. Mm -hmm. Oh, right? they do, that's and right. And so uh -huh. that's their shopping center. Yeah. And he was in with one of his tenants in the uh, in the trophy shop there, uh, asking about their water because they had actually had a water main break because of the cold weather behind oh, the shopping wow. center, what and it didn't even get that cold, but it was <laughs> wow. enough to break the pipes behind there. <laughs> <laughs> and while we're talking about Angels Camp, here we go: chance of showers tonight, chance of rain tomorrow. Um, looks like precipitation on mostly sunny. There you go again. On Saturday, Getting high of fifty. Yawning. All right, here we go. Uh, we'll just rattle off the temps, 37, 51, 40, 47, 34, 49, 33, 50, and 35. So it looks like most of the uh, Angels Camp should stay above freezing for um, most of mm -hmm. the week. Yep. And that's one of the nice things about living in this area because if you're back east, let's say you're in... For example, Bangor, Maine, exactly. or something like that. You can't escape you, it. You can't escape. I mean, you've got to get on a plane. Yeah, to because, you know, you've got to go to Florida just to get a change in weather, right? <laughs> but the nice thing about living in the area we live in is all you got to do is head down the hill. Half an hour, you can be in a completely different yeah. climate. You can Surrender. ski in the morning and play golf in the afternoon or something like that, right? Sure. Okay. For our friends in Bangor, Maine... Uh, 24, 21, 26, and 10. Friday, 27 degrees and clear with 6 degrees oh as a gosh. low. Single digits, 30 and 24 on Saturday. So, and we better go to London. Yeah, we London. better go to London and see how Sarah's doing over there. Yep. And when is she coming back? This weekend? I believe so. So she'll have all kinds of video for us to, uh, let's see. Now, 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 now next week's Christmas, though. What's going on next week? We're not, do, we're not doing the news on Christmas, right? We're not? There's no, no news on no, Christmas? No news on Christmas Eve or Christmas Man. Day, I would say probably no news. All right. Christmas, probably, probably a rerun for those days. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> of course, I'm sure, I'm, sure well, we'll, I'm sure we'll be out covering stuff. One but. of the things, though, is on days <laughs> like that, yes, you may get reruns, unless something really yes, urgent, urgent happens, yes, exactly. then, then obviously exactly. we'll break in and do it. Exactly. Um, I mean, more urgent than Santa, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. For Le weather for London, 4237, 4235, 4639, and 5044. Nice. It's kind yeah, of... It's about like here in Arnold. It's like it's Angel's about, Camp about, weather. Yeah, it is. Exactly. So that's not very bad. <laughs> we thank you very thank much you. for stopping by. And uh, thank you, Kim, for thank joining you. us tonight. Thank you for having uh, me on. I honor as, as, our guest, uh, as our guest host. <laughs> <clears throat> and we will be back tomorrow night with more exciting stuff. And we really do thank you for stopping yes, by. Thank you. Also thank our sponsors as well. Thank you. And have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.